Okay, so this video is about uh, taping your pit bull's ear. So when Halo was a puppy, I would say she was maybe around six months old or so, six, seven months. I'm not, I, I don't know, but I know she was definitely under a year old because I remember when we did it, the place we lived at. So, um, and we lived there, you know, up until she was around a year old. So, basically what happens is your pit bull ear is supposed to be a rosebud. This is what they consider the look to look like a rosebud, which is just a perfect ear that lays perfect like this. Well, it, um, if you've noticed, see, they both lay perfectly. But if you'll notice, a lot of pit bulls ears will look like this. They'll be like crazy up. Um, they'll be like uh, crazy up. They're, they won't be the perfect rosebud shape. They'll, they'll get weird. And you'll have pit bulls with one ear going crazy and the other ear going another way, and it just looks crazy. So, um, when she was a puppy, her ears, this ear right here, started looking weird. So, what we did is we taped it, and this is what it looked like when we taped it. You just take it where it would perfectly, where it would perfectly lie uh, into that rosebud shape and you just tape it. You don't you don't pinch it, you just leave it you leave it loose, but you just put it to where uh it lies into that perfect shape, which is exactly like the other one, so that their ears match. So as you can see I just put it on her and she, it was nothing. She was like not trying to get it off or anything because it's not tight. And the tape that I use is this tape right here. This is just um a, uh, it's like a it's fabric. It's uh, like paper. It's not it's not a tape tape. It's like it's like a um, a soft tape. It's almost like honestly, it's like um, fabric. It's very very light. It's not very sticky. And um, this might be some the type of tape that they use for people that have allergies or skin issues to tape. But yeah, it's just a, a real soft fabric tape. It's not very sticky. Um, this is the tape I used on her ear. As you can see, I just put it on her. And uh, she doesn't mind it at all. Let me take it off of her so I can show you what I did. Just pulled right off. So, see, this is what was on you, silly. She didn't mind at all. It's just a soft paper tape. So what you do is, I'll do another one. You just pull off a little piece of the tape. Actually, it doesn't need to be that long at all. Just a little teeny piece of the tape, like this. And where their ear would naturally lay, like this right here, you would just put one piece on one side and just lay it down and push the other right just like that and you just do it loosely and it will train their ear to stay in the position that it's supposed to stay in so we left it on her like that for maybe I don't know like a week or so and we took it off to see how it was gonna do and it just laid like that perfectly but uh, if you your puppy one of its ears are acting weird and you want it to you know not to be crazy sticking up like they do I know you know what I'm talking about you this is all you do you just take this soft oh it's like a cloth you take this soft cloth tape and you just put one on one side where it would naturally lay in a relaxed rosebud position and you just put the tape on very loosely one on one side one on the other side where it would naturally lay this um it doesn't hurt them. It's cloth. It's not gooey. It's not sticky. It's the perfect thing to do if you want your pit bull's ears or any dog really. If you know that, if you know your dog's ears are supposed to lay like this, and then all of a sudden it, they get weird, like they do a lot when they're puppies. The, I don't know how it would uh, do if the dog was an adult dog. I don't, I don't know, but we did it to her when she was a puppy because her. I mean her ears they both looked normal and then all of a sudden one day she just had like this wonky ear straight up in the air and I was like oh my god what is going on so and you know when their ears are like this this is the way they're supposed to be this 
this protects their ear from crap, dirt, and everything else getting in there. So, I mean, there's a reason why the ear was laying like this. So, it was supposed to be that way, and all of a sudden one day, like I said, it got weird, so we just taped it like that, so that it was in the natural position, and we left it really loose, it never bothered her, she never tried to get it off, it doesn't hurt, I would never do anything to hurt my dog or make my dog uncomfortable, so, obviously, we just did that, and then it trained itself within a week or so to lay back down like it's supposed to, and then they both laid perfectly. You know, she's coming up on three years old this year, so she has beautiful, perfect ears. Now, it, I mean, obviously, you don't, there's a whole nother video, I'm sure, out there on if you get your dog's ears cropped, how you're supposed to tape them and everything, but we didn't do that to her, so if we ever get another one, we'll probably have its ears cropped, because I really like that look as well, but this look for her is what makes her beautiful. So this this is how we did it. I mean it's a cheap, easy, inexpensive way. Just buy a little roll of cloth tape from Walgreens, Walmart, CVS, wherever you buy it. And that's all you gotta do is use it. And it doesn't really take long when there are puppies to train their ear to lay back down. So that's what we did to her and it doesn't hurt so, I didn't really see any videos out there like that, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. If you guys have a dog where you're, the ear is all wonky as a puppy or whatever, or even an adult, you can try it as an adult, and it'll probably retrain itself to lay like it's supposed to lay. You could try it, I don't know. But, that's what we did for Halo, and that's what worked for her. Right, baby? Yeah, you're a good girl. Say bye.